everybody! I'm Esther from Skylark First Aid and this is my daughter Rachel. Hello. We've been doing some first aid videos for kids to learn some life-saving vital skills while everybody's off school. So today's video is the third one that we've done. If you'd like to watch the other two, go to my Facebook page, Skylark First Aid, or onto my YouTube channel, again, Skylark First Aid, and you can watch the first two. It doesn't really matter what order you do them in, um, but it might make more sense if you do them in number order. Right, today we're going to look at choking and bleeding. Okay, so we'll start off with choking. Choking is when somebody's got a blockage in their throat and they can't breathe properly. So they've swallowed something they shouldn't have done or the food that they're trying to eat has gone down their airway towards their lungs instead of the tube down towards the stomach. Now it's important to recognise when somebody is really properly choking. So, if we get our board... If the person is red in their face and they're coughing a lot, can you <coughs> do lots of coughing? <coughs> <coughs> they might even be go saying, oh, I'm choking, I'm choking. If they can talk and if they can cough, they're going to be okay. They're not properly choking. So you might just need to say to this person, cough, keep coughing, keep coughing. <coughs> so if they can cough and they're red, they're all right. These people, though, are the ones that we need to help. If they are blue or a purpley colour and they're quiet, they can't cough and they can't talk to you, they might be holding their throat and looking really, really scared because they can't breathe, those are the ones that we need to help as quickly as we can because they're not breathing. So let's have a look at what we do for these people. Let's twist this round. We'll leave this at the back. The first thing to do is to get this person to cough. Keep saying, cough, cough as hard as you can. Keep coughing, really do a big cough, cough big. Keep telling them to do that all the way through. And the next thing we do are five back blows. Now the number for choking is always five, show me five. Do high five. So remember choking is high five. We're doing five of everything, okay? And we'd start with back blows. Oh, I forgot to say, you might need a toy. And whether you want to pause us, like I've asked you to do in the previous videos, you'll need for today, a forgot the shopping toy. list, didn't we? So pause here. You'll need a big toy. And toy. for bleeding later on, you will need things like, I forgot to say this at the start, a tea towel, Scarves. Scarves. Oh, scarves, that sort of thing. If you've got slings and bandages in your first aid kit that your parents or whoever you live with don't mind you using, that's fine. But if not, scarves, tea towels, even a t-shirt or a jumper rolled up would be absolutely fine. Okay, and so if you want to... Well, if there's gloves in your first yeah. aid kit and you want to wear your gloves, that's fine. But you might not have those. So, if you need to pause us and go and run and get that and come back, that's brilliant. Okay, back blows. Let's do some back blows. So, with back blows, come here, I'm going to demonstrate on Rachel, and then we'll all get our toys and we'll all have a go. Get up on your knees for me. This that's one. it, face the front. This so, what we do is we put our arm around the front of the person, just shuffle towards me a bit, that's it, and we tell them to lean forwards. Okay, and then you use the heel of your hand where we used to do uh, CPR on the last video. So hold them at the front, cough, keep coughing, <coughs> cough, cough, keep trying to cough. And then you hit them right between the shoulder blades. So that's here on your upper back in the centre. All right, now you would hit them really, really <coughs> hard. But you don't try that on whoever you're with, all right? I'm just showing you. Bear, yeah, you can try it on your teddy bear, really. <laughs> so we do five back blows, okay? Are we ready then? Grab your bears. I'm going to use my mannequin. And this is Bob from the past two videos. Yes, Bob the bear's back. Right, okay? So hold them across the front. See? Lean them forwards. Tell them to cough. Cough, 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 cough it up. Cough hard. Cough as big as you can. Keep coughing. Okay. Get your 
Check with your hand. Keep them in between the middle of the shoulders. Ready, go. Five times. One, two, two three, four, five. Brilliant. Five. That sneaks. Get carried away. Five back blows. And we keep telling them to cough. Brilliant. Okay, pop those down a minute. If the five back blows don't work, our next thing that we try are called abdominal thrusts so it's a bit of a longer name on that one and again we do five how many five. high five good five abdominal thrusts now this is a little bit harder so if you come in front of me facing this way yep up on your knees I am. now what you do is you make a fist with your hand like this and stick your thumb out. Can you see I'm sticking my thumb out, my knuckle of my thumb, yeah? Not the end, the middle bit. Then you reach around the middle of the person and you put that thumb, where's the belly button? <coughs> and you put your thumb just above their belly button and then wrap your hand around your fist, okay? Again, lean forwards and you would pull inwards and upwards, inwards and upwards, so it's like for show you without Rachel, you make your fist with your point in your thumb and then you wrap your hand around and you pull in and up, in and up, it's like a letter J. Or L. Or an L, yeah. If you go but there's not a corner on it, is there? It's more like a J because it's in and up, it's curved, yeah. And you go in and up, in and up on their abdomen. That's why it's called abdominal thrust. Yes, like digging. Oh. Yeah, definitely. So you will all have a go at that one. So grab your bear, put them here in front of you. Hello. So get your fist, make your fist, stick your thumb knuckle, and then imagine where their belly button would be, and put your thumb just above their belly button in the middle of them. Put your hand around them, lean forwards again, and we'd still be shouting at them to cough. All right, and we're going to do an abdominal thrust five times. Five this time. Okay, okay. ready? Go. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five. five. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, put those back down. Well done. So we do five abdominal thrusts. So we're pulling inwards and upwards to try and get out whatever's causing them to not breathe properly in their throat. If these don't work, we go right back to the beginning and start all over again. All right, so we're going to have a go all the way through now. Okay, so grab your person, okay. your bear, yeah? So the first thing we do is cough. Cough oh, as big as you can. Cough on, hard. Keep trying cough, to cough. cough. Try and cough for me. Cough. Right, back blows. Arms around the front of them. Use your hand, lean them forward. So we're ready for five back blows. Ready? One, two, two three, four, five. Well done. That didn't work. So put them in front of you. Abdominal thrusts. Make your fist, point your thumb by the belly button, above the belly button. Hand, wrap around your fist. Lean forwards again. Ready? We're doing our letter J. One, two, two three, four, five. Brilliant, well done. And if it doesn't work, what do we do? We go back, back to, to the beginning start. again. And we keep going through it as many times as we need to until this item, this object comes flying out. If it doesn't come out and eventually they go to sleep, they might collapse and go to sleep on the floor, then you do CPR, which is what we did in our second video. So if you're not sure how to do that, go and watch the second video and you'll be able to see. Well done, everybody. That's brilliant, fantastic, yeah. well done. That's choking. Shall we have a go bleeding then now? Yes. Okay, put the bear back. You'll need your bears and your, your toys again for bleeding in a minute. Right then, now, if somebody's bleeding, yes, pop them there. If somebody's bleeding, it's a good idea not to touch their blood. Sometimes you can't help it. You might not have time to go and find some gloves. So if you do get blood on your hands, you just make sure that when you've finished helping them, you go and wash your hands really, really well. And don't put your hands anywhere near your face. But we've got some gloves, so we're going to put these on. It's a bit big, but... Doesn't matter. 
as long as they cover your hands. Don't worry if you haven't got any gloves, you can pretend to put your gloves on. Okay? Now, to stop somebody bleeding, we have to press on their wound. Okay, so pull your sleeve up. I'm going to pretend you've got a wound on your arm. Now, if there's something sticking in this wound, so if there's a big piece of glass sticking out to Rachel's arm, I don't want to press on that, do I? That's not going to be very nice. But I don't want to pull it out either because that will make the bleeding worse. So if there's something in there, like a piece of metal or a piece of wood or a piece of glass, no. we need to try and press around the sides of it to stop it bleeding, all right? So what I might do is get my tea towel and roll it up, get my scarf and roll it up, and use both of them pressing on her arm around the object that's sticking out, okay? If there's nothing in the wound, I might, if I can, get a bottle of water. Where's your water? That's it. I won't do, won't do this for real. And if there was all dirt in it, or grass, or sand, I might want to try and wash it out. So if there's loose dirt, wash it out. It's nice to clean the wound if we can. Now, I need to use anything that I've got, as long as it's fairly clean, and you press, or... You get them. You press on that, please. It's your wound. <laughs> and they will sit still, press on their wound for about 10 minutes, okay? So sit still. You can chat to them. You might want to read them a book, watch the telly for 10 minutes, but you're pressing as hard as you can. Are you still pressing? Yeah. Once you finish pressing for 10 minutes, let's have a look at it and see if it stopped bleeding. If it hasn't stopped, we're going to do another 10 oh. minutes. You can press for them if they get fed up, okay? Now, once it's stopped bleeding or it's slowed down, we can put a bandage on. Now, if you haven't got a bandage, you could use a scarf. As long as it's fairly clean, that's absolutely fine. But we're going to have a go at a bandage. So these bandages are sealed up. You can have a go in a minute. So if you watch me, so there's the bandage and a pad. Try not to touch that, because this is nice and clean. It goes onto their wound. Now, I need to pass one end and say to my casualty, can you hold that, please? Now, I can then put her bandage on roll and roll it round to cover her arm. Make sure it's not going to fall off. I don't want it too tight. Otherwise, it will squeeze Yeah, it will squeeze it too much. But don't be falling off, do it. Yeah. And then I can tie a little knot in it to stop it coming off. How's that? Feels good. It's feel good? I can't really bend it. <laughs> okay. Right, are you ready then? So grab your bears. I want to keep this one actually. I like it. That's it, grab your bear. You can do him. Turn him round so everybody can see. Right, where's his wound? On his arm or on his leg? Yeah. On his leg. So use something, a tea towel or whatever, and press on his leg for him. And how long will do we do that for? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Brilliant. Okay, so hold it there. Press it as hard as you can. That's it. Make sure they're sitting still. Are we all doing that with our wounds on our toys? Are they on arms or legs? What, which one have we picked? Well, let's stick to arms and legs. It'll be easier for this. Right, ten minutes has gone. Have a little look. Is it still bleeding? Yeah. Yeah? Right, put it back on then. Another 10 minutes. Press it as hard as you can. Fantastic. Okay, let's have a look. Let's say another 10 minutes has gone now. Brilliant. It should have slowed down by now. If it doesn't stop bleeding ever, <laughs> after about half an hour, which is how many minutes? 30. Good. We've been doing this this morning, telling the time, haven't we? <laughs> 30 minutes. If it's still bleeding after 30 minutes, you'll probably need to ring 999. All right, and just keep the cloth on until the ambulance arrives. Let's say it has stopped bleeding or slowed down. We're going to put a bandage on now, all right? So we use this scarf, okay? Are you going to do this? Okay. So put it round his leg. You need a short, see? Round his leg. Are we all doing this? That's it. Now I'll hold the short end, the one end, yeah. right? Hang on, let's have enough to, we need enough to tie a knot. Right, you keep, you wrap his leg up now then and I'll hold this bit out of the way. So wrap that bandage round. Okay, do you want to tie a knot in that over and under? 
You could put a safety pin in it if you wanted to. Excellent, brilliant. Let's have a look at him. That's a good bandage. That's a fantastic bandage. If the blood started coming through the bandage, I could always put another one on. Yeah? If it comes through two bandages, though, you'll still need to press and perhaps call 999. I could put another one on and press on it again. Yeah? Anything to stop that bleeding. Well done. That's really, really good. So how long are we pressing on the wound for? Just try and stop it bleeding. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Fantastic. Well done. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Do we think we've healed his wound? Yeah. yeah. Well done, Bear. Bob the Bear. That's fantastic. Well done. You can help that. Thank you. Don't forget, you can use anything. You don't have to have a bandage. It can be anything that's material that will soak up the blood and anything that's fairly clean, really. It's just really, really important to keep pressure on that wound, okay? Well done, everybody. So today we looked at choking and what was our number to remember with choking? High? High five. Five, yeah, high five. High five, everybody. So we did five back blows and five abdominal thrusts and then we did bleeding didn't we and we said that if somebody's bleeding we press on their wound for how long 10 minutes 10 minutes yeah and then once the bleeding has stopped or slowed down we can use something clean to bandage them up well done everybody that's fantastic well it's been lovely to do some first aid with everybody if there's anything else that you'd like us to show you then let us know we'll do some more videos we don't mind do we no okay don't forget to go and watch us on facebook if you'd like to watch again that's skylark first aid or on the youtube channel that's the same name skylark first aid see you all next time well done bye bye, bye.